Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone at Epic Games and the Fortnite community. It's been one crazy year for everyone playing the game. From Season 3 starting in February till now in Season 7, there's been some serious highs and lows within the game. Some mechanics and additions to the game have made the naughty list for sure. The removal of the double pistol, piercing explosive damage, C4, and the infamous Infinity Blade are some of the things the community did not particularly enjoy. It isn't all gloom and doom, however. There are some additions that the community loved, such as pop-up cups, live events, such as Kevin the Cube exploding, and the addition of the creative mode. Let's see what made the Naughty List and what made the game enjoyable for competitive players. The Naughty List will be comprised of mechanics, nerfs, and additions to the game that wasn't healthy for the competitive scene. We'll start off with the vaulting of bounce pads. Bounce pads are easy to use. Just lay the trap down and jump on it. With good enough mechanical skill and connection, players can quickly place a bounce pad down as they are falling to prevent fatal fall damage. The item enabled creative and high skilled plays. The item being vaulted has shortened the skill gap between casual and high skilled players. Next on the naughty list is the untimely updates that Epic would sometimes roll out. Patches and updates releasing at the most unopportune time seems to be a normal recurring thing for Epic Games. Glider Redeploy releasing two to three days before the fall skirmish and of course the Infinity Blade the day of the NA Winter Royale. It was very frustrating to deal with and both events caused the competitive scene to question is Fortnite trying to drive us away? Lastly we have the questionable competitive direction. From leaked registration surveys on Discord to forcing pro players to play with others who aren't in the same organization as them, Epic Games makes very questionable choices. Throughout 2018, most of not all of the competitive scene is questioned if Epic really wants Fortnite to be competitive or not. These are a few of the notable changes and events that Epic has done to make the naughty list this year in regards to competitive Fortnite. The constant blur between competitive and casual updates and the questionable direction of Fortnite esports is all very troublesome. Now on to the good list. The good list will be comprised of mechanics, nerfs, and additions to the game that were healthy for the competitive scene. We'll start off with the pop-up cups. One of the newest additions to the game, pop-up cups, offer a competitive game mode that most of the community prefers to play over the default game modes. With 50 health and shield and materials per kill, plus a point system, this is a competitive player's go-to mode. Next up we have the life-changing opportunities. From winning $86,000 or having your own idea implemented in the game, Epic Games has changed the lives of some of the fans. An open tournament for everyone to try is not only awesome, but commendable. Another point is being immortalized in the game by having your own point of interest added, such as Haunted Hills, having your own emo like Orange Justice, and even having your own skin added in the game like the Tender Defender. Epic Games has changed the lives of so many of its fans. Lastly, we have Creative Mode. Now this is a rather new mode, but it's still pretty awesome. For face value, the creative mode does not seem to be for the competitive scene. Fortunately enough, the scene has found ways to use it for warming up building, editing, and even aiming. Since the release of creative mode, the competitive scene has used it to make amazing warm-up courses and even deathmatch style game modes where players can warm up their aiming. Epic Games is not perfect. No one is, and no company is. They have, however, done amazing things for the competitive community, and they deserve to be on Santa's good list. What are your thoughts and opinions on Epic Games and how Fortnite was handled in 2018? Should they be on Santa's good or naughty list? Make sure you let us know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and be sure to keep it locked to the Game House for more competitive Fortnite updates and analysis. Be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. And for all things sports and esports news and analysis, keep it locked to the Game House. From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.